Hello, I'm Tim Brady, uh, Subject Advisor here at Pearson for uh, the Computer Science GCSE. I'm going to talk to you today about uh, some revision tips for Paper 1 Computer Science. They're in no particular order, but I'll just go through them quickly. Structure your revision notes, flashcards according to the specification. It's really useful that you become familiar with the spec. It's easy to find on the website. If you have any problems, talk to your teacher. There's also a document called the Getting Started Guide, which takes each of the spec points in turn and further exemplifies and gives uh, information on them. So make sure you're familiar with those documents. Use the mark schemes linked to past paper questions to help you extract key phrases for each topic in your revision notes. Past papers are a critical part of being prepared for the exam. Make sure you use them wisely. Spend time analyzing how you've done so that you get the most out of them. Practice in, under timed conditions and pace yourself. With paper one, you probably have more time than you think. There's approximately one minute per mark plus 15 minutes at the end that can be used for checking. Use this time to read the questions carefully, look for clues and construct a careful response. Thinking about what exactly the question has asked and what response is required, the context of the question and the number of marks available. Use a highlighter pen to highlight words that will help you focus your answer. In our paper one, the phrase construct an expression is used. And this doesn't mean calculate. If you find yourself spending time working the numbers out, you don't need to. Past papers and exam style questions in a revision workbook are a great way to revise. You can find resources from Craig and Dave and the Pearson Revise publications are also available. Provide a summary guidance crib sheet about the types of questions and the need to answer in the correct format. For example, a four marker asking to explain two reasons why means exactly two reasons should be given, clearly separated with each reason being stated and then expanded on. Further reasons will be ignored. Six, ask yourself, have I identified and prioritized my weakest topic areas? It's difficult not to keep covering what we're comfortable with and knowledgeable about. So try to work on your weaker areas too. The four documents shown on the slide here are critical to the understanding of the way this spec works. The PLS I'm sure you'll be very familiar with. Uh, the spec and getting started guide I mentioned in the previous uh, slide in, in, a, in with the tips. The good programming practice is definitely worth a read, although remember it was written really with the intention uh, of, of the audience being the teachers, but I'm sure you'll find it useful read. Finally, and most importantly, good luck with all your summer exams this year. Thanks. Bye for now.